Hey everyone, welcome back to Ready, Set, Prep. Today we are going to be going over masks and respirators of all types. So from your basic cloth mask down to a biochemical mask, we're going to cover them. Uh, these are just a few examples of the things that I have on hand. Um, I'm always looking for comments and recommendations on masks that you might have. So make sure to leave those down in the comment section and let's dive in. So some of the most commonly used face masks um, and respiratory devices are like the N99, the N100, there's the P95, uh, P99, P95, the N95, KN95, um, R100s, uh, with the N95 being probably the most common um, used there are levels of protection that you can get out of these types of masks and there's levels of protection you won't get from certain types of masks and we're going to kind of cover some of that so the first type of masks that i want to kind of cover are <laughs> we'll go straight into the ones that i don't think are very useful so that's going to be your typical frou-frou you know very thin layers of protection inside of here you know, most of the time they have lights or gimmicks on them. Uh, you know, these are just not great um, for protection. They are easily washable. A lot of people would prefer not to wash these because they're going to ruin their electronics or whatever. Um, so where it comes to particles, this might stay, you know, particle wise, this might stay, um, keep you safe from particles. But as far as catching something, you're still going to catch something through this. Um, same thing with these here. Uh, these are something that guys down at the paint store use. These are just a very thin cotton two ply. This is actually feels more like a nylon, you know, again, maybe okay for catching your particles, but as far as um, protecting yourself against a virus, I'm not sure um, if this is what you would want to use in that situation. Uh, again, these are not recommendations. I'm just what might work for me and what might not work for me. You guys do your own research and um, see if you guys can um, do your due diligence. So again, another cloth mask here. Uh, this is something you would get from a hospital um, or walking into a, a clinic. Uh, very thin. You can pretty much see through that. Just not a lot of layers of protection here. Um, this is your typical in dust mask N95 protective bridge nose. These will seal up to your face pretty well. Uh, we use these on job sites when we, when we sweep stuff like that. Um, but overall, this is just mostly for dust, things like that. Um, getting over here into your filtered. Now this is more of a mask that I might feel a little more comfortable with. These masks have a little bit of a ventilation system on the side of them. And you could actually, they have the two layers already. Plus you can slide another filter in the middle of these. So the only problem is they don't attach to your face very tight. So again, an okay mask, I'd say this is like a 26% type of a mask, not, not something that's going to protect you uh, in solid. Disposable face masks. Um, these masks here are just your basic disposable blue uh, people will call, refer to them as a doctor's masks or a surgeon's mask. I don't think that's the case, but uh, very thin, very thin layer of cotton. Probably okay for particles um, coming out. I'm not sure about going in. Uh, wouldn't recommend them if you're trying to protect yourself against a virus or uh, biochemical um, attack or something to that nature. So moving across here, I use... And also, these here are also just packs and packs of these thin disposable masks. You know, not everybody's going to use these types of masks. Uh, these are more of just like sweeping the floor. Uh, good to have. Or maybe if you're not into or believe in masks, maybe just something to appease the mentality of uh, people who are serious about that thing. So, uh, moving along here, your Y1000 filtration type masks. So these are not a gas or a biological mask. Um, but again, these are good for if you're painting uh, dust, sweeping. These are good for a multitude of reasons. They're not a smoke mask, so you probably can't filter smoke through these very well. But they do carry a dual um, 
a dual charcoal, a dual charcoal system on these, um, and these are more in the organic um, phase of masks here. If you're going to have a quarter mask, or what I call a half mask, I always recommend that you wear a set of goggles, um, preferably the type of a goggle that's going to have a top covering in case you have something that's going to be coming over in there, dust, dirt, debris, um, somebody spraying some sort of a chemical on you, it's not going to be dripping down. And these are actually ventilated goggles. So when you're using these, they're ventilated here so they don't fog up. Nice protection here on the cheeks. And this is what I would use in this scenario here um, if I was going to wear just a quarter or a half mask um, on those. So that kind of a system there. Again, goggles wise options, you can, you can alternate these out with your KN95, with your KN95s or your N95 masks, um, your cloth masks, um, anything that's not a full face mask. These are just basic ski goggles, but I liked the fact that they had this filtration type thin material over the top. They fit to my eyes very tightly. So in a situation where there's a chemical being sprayed or dust that's going to be getting up in there, it won't affect me as much. Same thing with these. The difference is these are clear. So I would use these in a situation with a half face mask. So there's those. So moving into more of like the PD100. So PD100 full face, this is an organic valve respirator. Um, and face shield. These are dual charcoal system. These are good for, again, dusk, dust, paint, dirt, debris. Um, I bet you could probably use this in a smoke situation very quickly. Um, I like the fact that it wraps fully around your head. Um, these, these rubber pieces, they stretch and they're very durable. It will also seal to your face. Any full face mask that you have needs to be able to seal to your face 110%. So, you know, and these filters, they come right off. They screw out. You screw another one in and you can change these out. Eye protection and respiratory protection uh, has two ways for the air to come in and to, uh, I'm sorry, to be released. One through your nose and one through your mouth to prevent fogging. So little vent valves in there are key for that. So great mask to have, uh, the PD 100. Um, this is another similar style to that. Just a full face. Um, this is a paint respirator. This is something that you would use in a situation where there's going to be, um, you know, again, chemicals or liquids or, you know, you could use these in a, um, pandemic style, um, mask setting, but, for the most part, probably a little overkill. Um, you know, if you have a very serious respiratory issue, I would recommend using something like this. Um, these seal to your face extremely well. These are no joke. So again, you want something that's going to seal and have multiple layers of sealing and compression once they're sealed to the back of your head here using these straps. So something that's going to compress down with lots of straps. Uh, and seal tightly. That way you don't risk anything leaking in uh, to the mask itself. So you keep one of these here. Um, this one is the same, similar to that. Um, has a smaller size in the back here for the face. Um, so that would be more of a large, this would be more of a medium. Um, this is because I, my wife and I have children, things like that. So we want to make sure we have things that'll fit them as well uh, in that regard. So 3M performance respirators. There's a couple of different kinds here. So what I found is that I use these, I've used these for years. We, we paint and spray in these. These are good for any scent, smell, paint, um, you know, some chemical, like you could use solvents, thinners, denatured alcohols, um, things like that, 85 reducers. But when it comes to, you know, different types of chemicals like, um, oh, what's a good one? The sand that you would find in the uh, detergents that you would find in the dishwasher at a restaurant. These are not good for those. These are those are a very strong chemical and those will make you very sick. Mercury. Um, these are just not good for that. And these are definitely not a bio um, weapon type of a respirator going to protect you against biochemicals. 
So um, you can breathe 35% easier in these. More adhesives, sealants, solvents, pesticides, things like that. So 3M respirator. Great little breather. This 3M Cool Flow, same as that, only it has a little bit more ventilation as far as through the respirator hole. I think it ventilates the inside of your mouth and it keeps it cooler in there. So again, this is a 3M. This is for solvents and pesticides, um, you know, paint spraying, things like that. You want to make sure that you're being careful um, and you're not getting too, too much inside of your filter. The dual charcoal systems here are or dual filter charcoal system is only good for so long. If you don't, I found that if you don't take these off these filters and seal them up in a bag, they'll continue to breathe and they'll continue to be activated. So you want to seal these up and keep them sealed stored. That way they'll slow down the progression of the use and it will prolong the length of life in your mask. So great to have these on hand. Uh, I'd be happy wearing these through, you know, volcano ash, just whatever. This, these are good for everything, like I said, up to major chemical um, or biochemical. And then finally kind of getting down into more of my biochemical. These are ABC. Um, these are military grade masks. Uh, these have ABC filtration systems on these. These are foreign made. So you can go online Good masks will run you a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks. I mean, you can get them f some cheap ones. These were, I think they were like, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 bucks a piece. I don't remember. Uh, but at the time that I got these, I thought, you know, I just want to have something just in case. Uh, great seal in here. As you can see, they're all brand new. Uh, but great little seal in here where you put your mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Uh, seals up really well. The filter is inside of here, and then you just take the filter out and put it on the on this here, and then you have your full-on mask. And these here are good up to biochemical, uh, dust, dirt, debris, just a number. I, I would think everything that you could think of, this will protect you from. These air fil ABC filtration systems, uh, they're good for so many hours and days. They're not good forever. So once you break them open, it's you need to do it at the moment, the last moment. Don't be opening the cases on these, putting them on your mask, and then leaving them out. Again, these filtration systems continue to breathe, and it deteriorates the length and the life of them. So, you know, so using a three-layer you know, like a KN95 mask. This is a decent mask here, but, you know, it opens up. It seals pretty well against your face. Um, but this three-layer protection only catches 26.5% uh, of particulates. So, you know, and particles will not filter against gas. This will filter against everything. This is what I would, if I had to make a recommendation, I recommend everybody have one of these for each of their family. I'm no theorist, but you know, the way that the world is working, uh, right now, I'm pretty sure that over the next handful of years, there might be a large chance that we would need something like this or something on a smaller scale, say small riots or, you know, global breakout. Um, you know, just everything could happen at the wrong time. Having a list of these with you and having some of these are a good idea, mostly just because I like to have a variety not every situation is going to need a KN95 mask, but not every situation is going to need a biochemical um, mask as well. So these are just a few examples of some of the, some of the uh, respiratory filtration systems that I carry with me. Uh, there's other ways that you can purify air. You know, having air purifiers inside of your house is a good idea. There's very small economic ways to run those online, Amazon, eBay. Um, you can find them in Walmarts. So, but I recommend you guys... Do some digging, do your research, get a couple of these. You don't need one. If you have a family of five, you need five. And, you know, some of these are, you know, $25. Some of these are $75. Some of these are $300. So I would think that if you will, just as you can, put these into your preps. I think that's a good idea. So if you found this video helpful, maybe leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put some videos out uh, with useful content and information. So if you guys 
have any other useful information or brands of masks that you would recommend or would like to see me try or do a review on, just let me know in the comment section down below. Well, I'll let you guys get out of here. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Remember, always be prepared and ready, set, prep.